the last topic in chapter 13 is related to stoichiometry. In the past, when we did stoichiometry, we never had aqueous solutions in our reactions. And now we can do stoichiometry on a reaction like this, where we have a double displacement reaction, two aqueous reactants, we're making a precipitate, and another aqueous product. So the question is, how many milliliters of this potassium iodide to react with 35 milliliters of the lead 2 nitrate? And just like when we did stoichiometry previously, the key whenever you're trying to relate two chemicals together is you have to use the unit of moles. In the past we would usually see a problem starting with grams and we'd use the molar mass to turn grams into moles. This time we have aqueous solutions. So our conversion factor is not the molar mass, our conversion factor is capital M molarity because remember molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. So if we have the volume in liters we can turn that into the moles. So for example the lead 2 nitrate is 0.815 molar. So 0.815 capital M, we're going to fill in the definition, moles of solute, well 0.815 is for the lead 2 nitrate, so that's moles of lead 2 nitrate per liter of that solution. And we want to choose numbers to make this fraction equal the concentration of 0.815. So the easiest number to choose is 1 liter in the bottom and 0.815 in the top. So all we've done so far is write down the definition of capital M molarity. But one extra step that's going to be useful is changing this denominator. Now I'm going to still talk about 1 liter of solution but instead of using liters, notice in this problem it's very typical that the volume will be measured in the lab in milliliters instead of liters. And that relates to liters by the fact that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So if I rewrite this denominator as 1000 milliliters of solution, I haven't changed the amount of solution I'm talking about, which means I haven't changed the number of moles. I still have 0.815 moles of lead 2 nitrate. So this is an important skill when you're dealing with stoichiometry of solutions. What you want to be able to do is take a given molarity, rather, capital M molarity, and you want to be able to write that as a fraction. It's always the same number of moles and it's always over 1000 milliliters of solution.